Hey, welcome everybody back in the morning moments with Jesus. I don't know about you, but there have been so many times in my life that I really feel like I've, I'm ready for that next move or that next step. I'm ready for that next big thing for God to do in my life or to just uh, start a new chapter or just whatever, you know, that we really feel like we're ready for that. And the Lord has often had to kind of sit me down spiritually and, and talk to me and and let me know and to understand that the reason why things aren't coming or happening as quickly as I want them to in my life is perhaps because I'm not ready for that next step. And sometimes that's hard for us to handle because we feel like we're ready for anything. We claim verses that I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me and all these other very positive verses that let us know that we can do anything in Christ Jesus. But just because we can do anything through Christ Jesus doesn't mean that there are not steps to that process. That's what I want to speak to you about this morning. And the Lord takes us to Exodus chapter 13, verse 17 and verse 18. And if you know this story, you know this is the Exodus. This is where God was delivering the Israelites out of bondage. And he says this, And it came to pass when Pharaoh had let the people go, that God led them not through the way of the land of the Philistines, although it was near. For God said, Unless the people repent when they see war and then try to return to Egypt. But God led the people about through the way of the wilderness and the Red Sea. I want to talk to you this morning just for a little bit about maybe the reason why God hasn't delivered on that prayer request is simply because maybe you're not ready yet. See, they were free, but they were still very fragile. And God knows what you can handle. And He also knows what will make you afraid. And He knows what might make you quit. So He has to strengthen you like He had to strengthen them to be ready for war, to be ready for what's coming. Because the thing you're asking God for is going to come with its own share of resistance, its own share of obstacles. And even if your way seems easier, or the way everyone else is doing it seems easier, God knows if you're ready for it. And you really need to trust Him with that. See, God knew them enough to know that once they felt resistance, they would turn back. And He knows the same thing about you and I also. So God led them in a direction that they that did not even make sense to them. But God was doing more than one thing here. He was doing more than just leading them out of bondage and into the land that He had promised them. He was also leading them through a place where He would ultimately destroy the very one that had kept them bound all those years. Understand this today, that if God has brought you out of something, it is with a promise that there is something better waiting on you. God never brings us out of something without giving us a direction to go. It may not be the way you want it, may not be fast enough for you, but if you rush it or rebel against the path that God has led is is trying to lead you on, then it could take you a lot longer to, to go through the process and possess the very thing that you're so anxious to have this morning. Remember Isaiah 55, verses 8 and 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. So the Lord is speaking to all of us this morning and saying, be patient. Just take life step by step and moment by moment because every moment matters in your journey to your purpose. So I pray and speak that blessing over you today that God will reveal to you what you're ready for 
and what you really just can't handle right now. There are times in your life when you're stronger than you think you are. But let's be honest, there's also times in our lives when we think we can handle something. But God says we're not ready for that yet. So trust the Lord. He knows us better than we know ourselves. Pray you be safe, be strong, and be blessed today. And be that person that waits on the Lord. Because I can promise you from personal experience and the Word of God, the waiting is worth it. Hope you have a great day. And Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow.